The Syracuse field hockey team has had quite the season. In fact, it was their best regular season since 2016. And joining me to discuss their recent success, SU, SU field hockey midfielder Claire Cook. Claire, thanks for joining us. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. And uh, we got to talk about this field hockey team. I mean, the success they've had this year is unparalleled. You guys had a nine-game win streak at one time. But let's go back to the start of the season. You guys started off 2-2, two and two, lost to Kent State and then Rutgers, but then bounced back, had, a win, had wins against UConn and Boston College. The Eagles were number three at the time. How big was it to get those two wins on the road back in September? Yeah, I mean, UConn and BC, those are two big games we've had um, coming into every season, basically. So, I think Ant has a lot of history with UConn going back to the 2008 team and winning the Big East Championships there. So, every time we're on UConn's field, that's always um, good memories there to kind of relive that experience and just honor those who've come before us. And BC this year was our first ACC game, and so we knew coming in, like, we need to set the tone for a conference play, and we really just went out there and played to the best of our ability, and since that game, we've just been getting better and better. Yeah, like you talk about getting better and better, you guys had nine straight wins at yeah. one point, your team's longest win streak since 2015. Simply put, what did you guys do so well to keep winning games during that stretch? I think, honestly, we didn't even focus on something like a nine-game win streak. I remember someone was interviewing me after... I think it was the Wake Forest game, and they said, this is your seven game winning streak. And I was like, oh, I had no idea. Like, we were just playing one game at a time and just focusing on how we could improve from each game. And even though we lost our last two ACC games, we think, like, those were two tough losses really close. But we've just been trying to get better and better from each one, no matter if it's a win or a loss. We look at it the same way um, just to get better each game for sure now Claire this is your fifth season at Syracuse been here for half a decade yeah. <laughs> I mean uh, no team has been quite like this year's team we just talk about maybe what makes this team different or unique than teams that you've been on in the past well this year we've had a coaching staff change which has been a really big um, difference maker I would say in our team chemistry we are obviously still missing Alan and Katie they were such a big part of my career here and we're really grateful to have Ann still here to kind of lead the way. But um, our two assistant coaches coming in have just brought energy and um, tactics that we haven't had before. So having that has just been a big change on the field. And I think going through last year, through two seasons, through COVID, spending all that time together just made our chemistry and connection on and off the field so much better. So coming into this year, it just, we clicked right away. Yeah, like you said, that's another thing. I talking with Charlotte DeVries last week that she mentioned that, that COVID year yeah. and how it really brought you guys closer together. I think that's really cool. Um, another question for you. Personally, you were recruited around the time that SU won the national championship in 2015. Just discuss what was that recruiting and decision-making process like for you to come uh, to Syracuse? Yeah, I honestly, my first ever college field hockey game I watched was the national championship game of UNC versus Syracuse at Michigan. So... Um, that just like held a special place in my heart, but I, it wasn't my intent to go to Syracuse at all. I enabled them and was, um, not really recruited very highly. I started playing my freshman year in high school. So, um, I just emailed them kind of hitting and hoping, honestly. Um, and, and came down to one of my tournaments and watched me play. And she emailed me a couple hours after my tournament and said, Hey, you want to come up for a visit? And I was in the airport. I remember and I was like, oh my gosh, Syracuse just emailed me. And all my teammates were like, what? No way. And I went up two weeks later and committed right then and there. I knew they had just won the national championship. Um, Ant and I had talked on the phone, and it just was a culture I wanted to be a part of. And I knew there was no other team like that in the entire country as soon as I spoke to her. And coming here was probably the best decision of my life. Yeah, for sure. Now, going back to this season, Claire, you guys have got the ACC championships coming up right here at home this weekend. How big will that be having that game at JS Coin Stadium? Oh, gosh, we are so excited. This was supposed to be something that we were supposed to have the ACC tournament here last year, um, and that kind of got moved with COVID and everything. So um, we've had this mission statement on our whiteboard in the locker room to be um, playing for an ACC championship on coin. And we've had that up for the last two years because we haven't been on coin. So just to have that um, goal set and see in our locker room every day, it's just 
we're really excited about it. And coming off of last year's ACC tournament was a tough loss for sure. Um, so we're coming in with a lot of excitement and the fact that it's at home just brings even more energy and um, I, I don't know, we're just really excited that we get to be here and honor um, the women that came before us on COIN and to really just be the first field hockey team to win AC championship and do it here. I'm sure. Well, for more field hockey news and updates, you can follow myself or Citrus TV Sports on Twitter or Instagram. Fifth year field hockey midfielder, Claire Cook. Claire, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.